you might be having some problems for some reason where CarPlay is just not working properly or it's just not connecting properly. Now, this can happen for a few different reasons and there can be a lot of different reasons why this happens. For one, are you using wireless CarPlay or are you using regular CarPlay like via a wire? If you're using wireless CarPlay, it can be a little bit more difficult to troubleshoot, but just make sure you have your Wi-Fi and Bluetooth on and everything like that as always. But the other big thing is if you're using wired CarPlay, you want to double check that wired connection like crazy. Plug in that wire once more to your specific car, or whatever you're using. And if you're even using the wireless method, just try plugging it into your car the first time and double check both ends. Double check where you're plugging in your specific device at and double check the other side of where you're plugging your device into the car. Both sides can typically, you know, typically have some issues. So all you're going to want to do is just make sure that is not the problem. The wired connection down here and the wired connection into the car, if that is not the problem, well then, you know, that's going to be the biggest thing that's probably going to end up causing the problem. Now, if you can verify that's not the problem, you can try a different wire or whatever. The other thing you may just want to try doing is making sure, one, your car does support CarPlay. Not every single car out there does support it. And what you can do is you can make your way over to your general settings here. There is a CarPlay dedicated button within our general settings of our iPhone. You want to tap on that. And if your car is plugged in, you should be able to see it available when you actually plug it in here. Wireless CarPlay, if the same exact thing is going to happen, you should be able to go and have your CarPlay thing set up here too. So that's another thing to keep in mind here as well. So from here, plug in your you know, thing at the bottom, see if it comes up. And if it does come up, you're going to want to go down in that direction as well, because that is typically and probably going to be the fastest way and the easiest way to go and fix that problem. Now, if that doesn't work either, the other thing you're going to want to try doing is seeing if there's an update available for your phone. So make your way back into your general settings of your iPhone, click on software update, and all you're going to want to do here is just update your iPhone. And that's another thing you may want to try doing as well, which could probably end up fixing it for a vast majority of people as well. So that pretty much covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, so then.